You know, uh, protecting Polk County and keeping us safe is one of, uh, one of the greatest treasures that we have in this community. And the folks that are uh, keeping us safe, the folks that are performing that duty for us, uh, we owe such a, a debt of gratitude towards them. And uh, here to talk to us today about an opportunity to kind of uh, celebrate those who are with us uh, that are protecting us and keeping us safe is Jamie Brown. She is uh, from the Winter Haven Police Department. And Jamie, uh, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Now, you have a special event coming up, and, and of course you've done this uh, in years past. Uh, tell us a little bit about, uh, about the event you have coming up. Honoring our heroes, remembering the day is a way for everybody in Polk County to come together and show their appreciation for all of our first responders. Um, it, it was born out of the fact that after 9-11, the landscape of military as well as law enforcement, firefighting, and those who come to our, our aid in medical issues, all of that changed. And it's a way for us to come together and show those heroes who call Polk County home just how much we appreciate what they do on a daily basis. Absolutely. Now, when, when you get together to celebrate uh, the uh, remem or honoring our heroes, um, what are some of the things that you do to kind of honor these folks and, and uh, celebrate their service? Well, we, we kick it off with a freedom walk. And this actually is the uh, fifth anniversary of the Freedom Walk. It's the fourth year that we've had it in Central Park in Winter Haven. But it's a way to uh, show honor because they serve mm -hmm. every day for us. So it's a short walk. It's less than a mile. It's uh, around a few of the city blocks in Winter Haven. And then we come together and have some, some speakers, uh, such as this year we have Sergeant Jose Sanchez, who is with the Winter Haven Police Department. He did serve in Iraq. He has served prior to 9-11 and then post 9-11 and then became a law enforcement wow. officer after that. Uh, we also have um, a number of uh, firefighters and police officers and then uh, Grady Judd will also speak, Sheriff Grady Judd will speak to the crowd. And then we have an honor um, ceremony for all of the military who have retired. Anyone that is there uh, from any war, we, we give them recognition and we mm -hmm. honor them and then we follow it up by a very moving service and a luminary service at the very end. You know, you were talking about um, Sergeant uh, Sanchez. Yes. And, uh, you know, all the different branches that he's served, you know, all mm -hmm. the, you know, the military service, and then of course with, with the police department. Uh, that seems to kind of uh, run through the veins of, of these folks, of these first responders. Um, you know, they're the, f th service is part of them you know they're they're there to to help the community they're there to to fight for us to to keep us safe um, i mean they are constantly uh watching over us and and i think honoring them is one of the greatest things that we can do it is it's 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 a it's a great honor to work with these men and women and it's a great honor to to show them how much we appreciate them i mean it's in their dna yeah uh, many who who join the military usually make a career in law enforcement or some sort of paramilitary type of career and it's just it's just inside of them and yeah. that's what they want to do and just taking a couple of hours of a saturday to show them how much we appreciate right. what they do. That's a very, very, very small price to pay, but it's it's a great cause. It's so often a thankless job that they that they do. Yes. And and you know, generally people don't intend on having a an, an interaction with law enforcement or a firefighter or an right. EMT professional. But if they do, they may thank them there at that moment if it is something to be thanked. Um, but then after that, they, they're pretty much forgotten. Right. And they, there's not a routine call for any of these people. Military, it's mm -hmm. not routine. Every day brings something different. So showing them how much we appreciate their sacrifice is what this is all about. Now, um, 
You said about the Freedom Walk uh, and then some of the speakers that were going to be going on. Um, obviously, you're, you're looking to get the, the entire uh, community involved there in Winter Haven and, and probably even beyond. You want to make this a county event, right? It is actually a county mm -hmm. event, and all of the law enforcement agencies here in Polk County are part. Uh, they're bringing out some of their display vehicles if they have the personnel that is available. They are they are participating in the multi-agency Honor Guard, which is also being being assisted by with our, our military. And then, um, you know, all of the firefighters, the, all of the, um, the fire departments, the county fire, they're all coming together. So this is not a Winter Haven yeah. event. This is a Polk County event. And we really hope that everyone from the county will come out see their agency, but more important, show their thanks and their honor to these right. who serve. I think, I think sometimes uh, as, as regular, you know, residents, the, we, uh, we kind of sometimes think of uh, our service people in kind of a distant way. Mm -hmm. You know, like you said, we, we don't really expect to, to need law enforcement. We don't expect to need the ambulance that day that, you know, something goes wrong. That's not something that's on our mind. Um, but, you know, as uh, working here for uh, the television station, you know, we've had the chance to interact with a lot of these departments, and and I'll tell you, they're just they're just ordinary ordinary folks that are doing extraordinary things. That's exactly right. They they put their boots on one one foot at a time, but when their boots hit the ground, they're they are out there for a greater mission mm -hmm. than than the general public is. Absolutely. Now, um, this is just around the corner. Um, mm -hmm. Are there still opportunities for folks to get involved with, with the ceremonies, or is it pretty much just, you're just asking people to attend? We're really asking people to attend. If there are any military or law enforcement organizations that would like to set up a table, set up a booth, this is not a, um, here we're, we're going out to sell our wares kind right, of thing. Right. This is strictly honoring these, these heroes who serve us on a daily mm -hmm. basis. But we welcome any of the VFWs, the, uh, you know, all of these posts, they're more than welcome to come out. Um, if there's anybody that has any kind of um, military or law enforcement service that they would like to uh, set something up, they can certainly contact me. But most important, we do want the community to come out and show their support. Now, uh, what is the, the contact information for the, for the event? They can contact my office at the Winter Haven Police Department, and it's 295-5905. Or they could go on the website, which is winterhavenpd.com, and get all of the information there, and then they can link to the email as well. You know, Jamie, this is this is a really great event. I know uh, in years past it's been terrific uh, just to be able to honor those who have, you know, who are laying their lives down on the line for yes. us uh, day in, day out. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's a small thing that we can do for them, and this is this is going to be a really great opportunity for us to show our appreciation and gratitude towards not only those who are serving now, but those who have served in the past, and and even those who have fallen uh, in the yeah. line of service. Right. And, and there is a time during the ceremony that we do have that solemn remembrance of mm -hmm. those who have, have gone before us, uh, those who, who have fallen in war, those who, who perished in 9-11. So we are not trying to relive, we are trying to remember and honor right. each one of those. And that's what this is all about. Absolutely. Well, Jamie, thank you so much for coming in, uh, making us aware of this, inviting everybody on out to the, uh, to the event. And, and we'll be sure to get out there and, and honor those who uh, surely deserve our honor. Yes, and thank you for having me. That's the uh, uh, honoring our heroes, uh, remembering the day. Uh, it's going to be a terrific time uh, to uh, uh, a great opportunity that we may, you know, we might not have otherwise, uh, you know, to just get out and honor all of our service people, those who are, are making such an impact on our lives day in, day out. Uh, they're there when we need them. Uh, the least that we can do is, is show up and, uh, and show our support for them and our appreciation. So it's gonna be in Winter Haven, uh, downtown Winter Haven uh, at Central Park. It's gonna start, um, it's gonna be on Saturday, September 7th. Uh, it's gonna start at 6 p.m. There's gonna be a Freedom Walk and it's gonna go right around the, the downtown area there, a couple blocks. Uh, they're gonna meet back and there's gonna be some great stuff just like Jamie had talked about. For more information, you can uh, get in touch with them at their phone number, 863-295-5905. That's gonna put you in touch with the Winter Haven Police Department. You can also uh, get onto their website at winterhavenpd.com or uh, connect with them on Facebook at facebook.com slash honoring our heroes 
remembering the day.